So that was a complete success. Nothing blew up. I'm so happy. My battery is currently charging off my alternator. Maybe driving around will charge up my battery a little bit. Let's go for a drive. Let's go for a drive. Oh, look at that. It's green. It's now charged. I'm very happy. So much went into this, like to get to this point. Next, I'm gonna be putting the inverter in. Okay, y'all, this is taking me a long time to figure out. I keep going on the internet. One question turns into five questions. It's all very new to me, and I just want to make sure I'm not making any mistakes with electricity. When you don't know what you don't know, it can be kind of dangerous. Things, things that I'm trying to work out are this diesel heater positive wire. Everyone tells me that upgrading this to a 10 gauge wire is the way to go because this wire is likely too long for the gauge of wires and it could cause some issues. I'm gonna cut this wire shorter. My diesel heater's under there. There's a fuse like pre-existing on this wire. So I can cut the wire here. Then I'll just add my own fuse box. The negative wire I'm gonna ground. I was thinking this cigarette lighter. If I can disassemble that and find the ground wire and just hardwire it in, that would be really cool. But it might be easier said than done. I don't know. I'm struggling with that the most. I don't know what to do. Okay, stop talking. Here we have my roof vent fan. It's my Max Air mini roof vent fan. My negative can ground to here. If I scrape away the paint, I believe they're connected to ground by the chassis. So I just need to find the appropriate size bolt that goes in there and attach it through there. I'll have to check the resistance by using a voltmeter. So the gauge of wire I'm going to use is 16 AWG. That means I need another wire to go from my fuse box to my battery. It seems really simple, but there's a lot of little bits and pieces that you have to put together. I should probably draw a diagram. So I guess this must have an internal fuse. I don't think I have to add one. <laughs> so, what are we doing? My ground for my negative is gonna go there. So we have to sand it right there, baby. We don't have all day. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Oh, we need to put a ring terminal on there. Quarter inch ring terminals, which is equivalent to M6 approximately. Is that right? It's the metric measurement for a screw. I'm gonna crimp it. That's gonna go on there like so. Isn't that beautiful? It's gonna go on there and it's gonna ground the wire. This is 14 gauge wire. They didn't have any red left. They had white, which is the same color as my negative wire, but I'm just gonna, whatever. It'll be fine. So we're gonna use that to go into the fuse box. So much talking. Stop it. Let's just do it, people. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Okay, all right, well, we're gonna put it through one of these 16 to 14 gauge electrical interconnect heat shrink tubing. It's cool because it has, it has solder in the middle and on the outsides it will heat shrink and then there's a waterproof thing that happens on the edges. I'm gonna strip it and intertwine the wires, slide the butt connector on, and heat it. It's snug on there now. Oh, that's beautiful. 
These are 14 gauge number 8 ring terminals and number 8 corresponds to M4 approximately. M4 is the size that goes onto the fuse box. I was expecting, but yeah. This fuse, this fuse right here, that's what I need to attach to my fuse box. A fuse for the fuse box, that's really interesting. 120 amps, that's the last thing I need to get everything hooked up. something wrong. Ugh. Oh, what am I doing with my life? I'm gonna electrocute myself. I don't understand electricity. I think the DC to DC charger is supposed to be connected a bit of a different way and I don't understand. I don't understand the order that I'm supposed to do things in. Hopefully the BMS wasn't damaged. I don't think so. Everything looks pretty good. Okay, so I just learned that when you're hooking up an inverter to a battery, when you hook it up, it will cause an arc because the capacitors have not been pre-charged. So what has to happen is we have to pre-charge the capacitors. We are going to make the connection with a resistor. These two brown thingies together, I think it's about 50 ohms. Of resistance so this might get hot when I do this we'll see so this will allow the capacitors to pre-charge at a slower rate We're just adding a little bit of resistance in there does that make sense good Woo okay so this is my negative lead from the inverter and I'm gonna hook the resistor on there I'm gonna hold it like so oh can you see I'm gonna give it a little squeeze I'm gonna hold it like so and attach this to the negative terminal of the battery and I'm just gonna hold it down there might be another spark freak me out. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it on there. Maybe for like 10 seconds. Okay, so where was I? Where's my post? Okay, it's down here. I'm just gonna put on there. Just a little spark. No, it's not sparking. We're good. Probably all you electricians out there laughing. I think we're in the home run, guys. So that's what we got so far. I'm gonna tighten that up and see if this inverter turns on. So at this point now, um, I forgot I had my roof vent van hooked up, so it might work. I'm about to test it and I'm like super freaked out. I've got the cables, positive and a negative, hooked up to this fuse box. And then this is a five amp fuse. This is the positive line that runs this way up here into my fan. Uh, I'm gonna tighten this and then I'm gonna see if my roof vent fan works. Okay, I've got that tightened up. There's another five amp fuse in there, but I wanted a fuse closer to the battery, which explains that. And here's the moment of truth. Okay. Oh my gosh, it works. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Holy moly. Holy moly, it works. Are you guys? <laughs> I forgot it has LEDs. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. What the? So that works. That's super cool. This is so cool. I've never done anything like this before. I'm sorry. Like, look, it turns on. That is so cool. I did that. I did that. Yeah. Wow, I have ventilation. Ventilation. Okay. Wow, I did something right. Put this somewhere where it's gonna be in frame. So we've got this we've got this light bulb. Here we go. Plug it in. Three, two, one. 
<laughs> That's nuts. Hooray, we have power. I've got power. This is insane. Finally. Ah. <sighs> Wow. Okay. Wow. How many Saturdays have gone by since I made a video? I think it's been like <clears throat> a month and a week, a month and a half, I don't know. But I've got some fan mail. This is from Ken Heaps and Marlo Brooks. They're my Caps, Caps Patreon supporters. This is exciting. Oh, cool! Oh, that's awesome! Look at that! It's a case for my DJI Mavic Mini. It's custom made, I think, like 3D printed. I think that's how it works. That is really cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Let's see if it fits this way. Oh, like a glove. That is cool. That is so cool. Thank you so much. That is a really neat present. I really like it. Yay.